Hi YouTubers, this is going to be the second video in a series of reviewing a specialised roll. It's now had its electric conversion. Started with a BBS HD, that's gone faulty, that's got a faulty controller in it. So this has now got a BBS 02B instead. We used all the same wiring because it's universal, but uh, it doesn't really feel a great deal different to the uh, BBS HD and once that's fixed that's going on my main mountain bike as well. So, we can see the difference from the previous video. We have the BBS 02 motor mid-drive with a lecky ring. Same drive trains before there, Tourney uh, derailleur with the Mega Range cassette. I've now fitted um, knobblies, some uh, off, slightly off-road tyres, do a little bit of off-roading on this in the way of sort of tote paths and sort of rough tracks, not serious off-roading, but uh, I found the slicks weren't giving quite enough grip. Um, it gives a little bit of, that's a bit of chunkiness to, uh, to the look of it as well. A bit of Thule, uh, rack. On the back, universal rack, it's quite handy because we can use it on the other bikes as well, can even use it on full suspension. A little bit, of, uh, a little bit tricky to install, but uh, quite uh, quite neat. We can see here the Bafang speed sensor, and getting close up, we can see the, the Bafang motor, and you can see the lock rings, it just goes straight through, you take the existing bottom bracket out completely, and you just slide straight through. Very easy fit on these rolls. Very easy fit. Just no problem at all. That's why I did have a BBS HD now. I've got the BBS02 and it's an easy swap over. Cabling runs up and then goes into the Blackburn Outback camo bag, frame bag, large frame bag. That fits the Dolphin battery upside down. It also fits the Jumbo Shark battery in there as well quite neatly. Um, I thought it was slightly more stealthy than trying to fit it to the bottle mounts and that kind of army look that suits the bike with its army green forest green colouring. Change the seat post so a Suntour NCX uh, a little bit better quality than the suspension seat post it came with. I think it was particularly that bad from Specialized but this really does give quite a nice cushy ride. And with this cup saddle, a really comfy saddle, and uh, softens everything down, any bumps. You've still got the rigid fork, but with these big tyres, and as I say, not seriously off-roading, it's, uh, it's still a, a very comfortable bike. So, back to the conversion. As I say, the battery is fitted in the bag here, so we... And here we just reach in, switch the battery on. You see the in there, batteries in there, cabling's in there as well. I did cut a hole in the back of the bag here for the cables to go in, and then did some internal routing in the bag, and then the cables exit here, which is the hydration port. Blackburn, so you can put a camel back in here and just bring the drinking port out. But actually, it serves great purpose for uh, bringing the cables out. So the battery is therefore on. So we then go to the controls. I actually haven't fitted the throttle on here. Not really into using the throttle though. A lot of people will. You just hold the button down and you get the welcome and then the uh, control comes on. And we can see by just pressing up and down here, plus and minus buttons, you've also got the on off. But if you double click that on off, it does take you to the uh, to the main menu. I can do quite a bit of fettling. Set your wheel size, set the battery type, set the system imperial, miles per hour, metric, kilometres, etc, etc. So we go back. So we start off with zero. If we hold down the minus button, we go to what's called P, which is walk mode, and we can see here 
but it just slowly pushes the wheel, give you a little bit of assistance when you're climbing up a steep track or trying to get it up the garden to the shed or anything, just that little bit of assistance. Because these bikes, once this kit's on, you know, we're talking probably about a 50, 54 pound bike, so some weight there, so that is quite useful. So we start with zero, no assistance whatsoever, and then depending how many uh, levels of assist you've got programmed in, you can, this quite often will come with three or five, this has got nine programmed, and uh, as I say, it's, uh, as you go further up the scale, the more and more assistance you're getting, and it really is quite, quite strong. You, um, you really do feel it. It's uh, some of these higher levels, and it's almost like you've got bionic legs. Um, hills, it sounds a cliche, but hills just disappear. You find you're going longer, longer, longer rides. Um, this system, or well, the BBS HD, was fitted for about a week or so, and um, we're up to 90 odd miles, I think, on three, four rides. You just, you just keep going. You just, you look in the distance. You think, yeah, I'll go there, as long as your battery's up to it in range, then uh, you know you can just go up and forget about the hills completely. Changed a couple of things, put a 7 speed shifter on, got rid of the integrated shifter and brake lever levers, put the Bafang levers on, which have got the integrated engine cut out here, and they're still going to the cable, uh, the Tektro cable brakes, which again are passable, and a very easy fit for these as well, so you can just reuse the cables. And you can just see if you can look about here as I pull the lever, you can see the motor cut off sign comes, which again just cuts the motor off completely as you're braking, which is a really good safety feature. So, that is the uh, electric conversion. I'm uh, very, very pleased with that. Very pleased. Can't stop riding it, frankly. Just superb. Okay, YouTubers, that's the end of this video. Thanks again for watching.